Boy, did you guys like that video I created just several hours ago. Staying up all night yet again. I created it as an experiment. And you definitely liked it. It's over 100 views in just the last several hours. My mom could be home. She went somewhere after church, but there's no saying how long, which means she could be home in... That's all we're in the bathroom eating. Uh, he's safe in there. It takes him forever to eat that food. I'm hoping the need or feeder works, but I'm not holding my breath. But at least his new thing works. And I pile new... Pile blankets up in the new thing that's a soft thing it's working out good even if he goes to the bathroom in it i put a whole bunch of blankets in it and 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 um it contains itself in the blankets it doesn't get it on the carrier whereas i mean he's flung poo poo right through the bars of the old cage which is gone gone Either someone took it, when I put it outside, I didn't get a chance because we've had bad weather and it was supposed to make a sign free. Or, um, the garbage people took it, but it's gone nonetheless. Actually, I think I also the garbage people took it. But I left it out beforehand and nobody obviously wanted it. They know if it's at the end of the, 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 the house and at the end edge, edge waiting to be picked up by garbage people then you know that it's I, I don't want it obviously especially when I put it out in bad weather gone gone anyway you guys not surprisingly loved that video and it was simple enough so I thought I'd do a repeat of it but you know look a little not be in my pajamas But my mom could be home any minute. Any minute. I slept a good six and a half hours, so that's decent. It's just, it's still not as healthy sleeping. You know, going to bed really say at five and sleep until eleven thirty, as opposed to going to bed at twelve and sleep until six thirty. You know. It's provably not as healthy. But I'm staying up making videos and making myself more popular. <laughs> All while I've made it totally perfectly clear to you guys I wish I could be with this Joe. And I'm better off with Joe. And I'm 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 saner with him. It just couldn't be under the circumstances where where it's his place, you know. Said even though Joe had our moment and he couldn't stand Omar, I was just overall just in a better mental place there. Not on, not just not on edge all the time. Plus, again, he keeps his place clean. He keeps his place with with, with, with wet. He just
but there's your explanation for why I've gone into overdrive. I've gone into overdrive with these videos because, again, the, 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 the time period that I live in, this day and time, this is available and I, I can do it for free. And I never run out of things to talk about. I never run out of things to talk about. It's impossible for me to run out of things to talk about. For example, when I um, I told you that my boss, little twerp, when I was working, not for the one I eventually worked in for three and a half years, I believe, three and a half years, and, uh, and Third Street Promenade, Santa Monica, but wherever I worked before, remember I always had to take buses to get there, wherever I worked prior to that, it was the parking job. an easy job to get. I didn't want to work like in a fast food place because of um, skin problems, you know. I didn't want to exacerbate problem with the skin and have have the, the that atmosphere of have me have all greasy skin and whatnot. So anyway, when my boss touched me that time when I was in his office for some reason. A little twerp. And I told you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want him touching me. He didn't touch me, touch me. He just was, you know, he didn't, he, he, I was deer in headlights. Didn't want him touching me. I just want to make that perfectly clear. A little fucking twerp. I wouldn't have wanted him to touch me even if I was attracted to him, okay? We're in a work environment. Even when I'm working on my stupid minimum, you know, even when I'm working at the, this kind of job, I always, I'm, I'm always a good worker. I always bust my ass at any job. In fact, when I worked at a fast food place and when I was um, in college, just, you know, and, uh, and to, to support, you know, Nobody handed me any anything. Um, they didn't like how much of a hard worker I was. They they wanted to slack off, and I made them look bad. <laughs> Some of them weren't afraid to say it. Plus, the way that I looked. And then my boss called me when I came in with the, the sex, like, you're the sex symbol ad name of fast food restaurant. And then a customer one time was like, hey. I'm like, what do you, what do you want? Like, it's in food, take your order. And he's like, he's like, I can't say that and it's not on the menu. Remember these things. Oh, he says, Those eyes, that nose, that mouth, I can't say that. It's not on the menu. I even have some pictures. I kind of made friends in there. They were not, not, not exactly real friends, though. Remember, I had dropped out, so my college, plus my, my original college roommate, was, she was older than me anyway. So the 
friends I'd, I'd had, the good friends I'd miraculously had, I could have turned out differently too. They were all normal and I was far from it. And they miraculously liked me, although I, I They had come from normal childhoods, you know? So it's very rare. Some of these people did Sarah and Anna, they keep them, Sarah was my, keep them normal childhoods. In fact, Sarah said, I can't imagine going one day without friends. Okay. the way I looked and I just wanted to just sink into the earth all the time. But um remember I just come from four years of abuse at the hands of my father. But um that that job a little twerp. And he, uh, he, it didn't stop him from touching me because I was deer in headlights. It wasn't because I feared losing the stupid job. It wasn't because I wanted him to touch me. It was deer in headlights. I, I get like that. I get like that. But remember, I was being abused by Donald, so my life had become what I wasn't expecting it to become yet again. Yet again, my life had become what I wasn't expecting. And that is just like another slap in the face from the universe, you know? was doing that. Which again, the way I looked. Even a lot heavier, I still looked good. And, and at that point, I hadn't even put on all the extra Put on enough. Deer in headlights. When I came home here to visit, remember when I left, I was EarthCam TV goddess with not an ounce of fat on my body practically. Okay. When I, had, I came home here to visit and I put on so much weight, you could see it in the fucking pictures. I put on almost the, the, the total of 72 pounds that I was going to wind up putting on, going from 160 when I first met Donald in two, two, 2000, 2000, right? Yeah, 2000. Um, And eventually going all the way up to 232 pounds. Which right now I'm about 200. So I weighed myself recently, but I go by how my clothes. But I'm about 200 pounds. So I, have, I haven't you know, put on all the weight back. But I put on enough of it back. I, I kept it off here for a while. And then too much shit happened here. I'm not, if I'm not just being totally bombarded by shit all the time, I can keep my weight down. You guys know who've been following me. I kept my weight down for quite a few years here. And then just everything happened. Like, like unbelievable. Like, so now, I'm admittedly a basket cake. Okay. Um... Do this for you guys from afar. It's safe, relatively, relatively safe. Don't think I'm stupid. Don't think I don't know that 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 I could have 
unknown, unknown number of human beings out there, both sexes, like, hating me. Strangers out there hating me. I know. But the alternative to doing this is not good, so I do it. I'm not going to spell it out. The alternative to me doing this is not good. As you know, I did it a hell of a lot. I still kept in touch with you guys, but I did it a hell of a lot less when I was with Joe, didn't I? Yes. And, and eventually I probably would have stopped almost completely. And yet again, the universe plunges me back into this. So, when I came home here... back home from California to Massachusetts to visit. So it wasn't really my home anymore. My aunt was fucking reveling that I wasn't the little sex kitten anymore. That I put on all that weight. You could see it in her fucking eyes. She loved it. She fucking loved it. 